Hey everyone, it's Marcus with the Best Buy blog and today I'm going to review two of QNAP's networking solutions. This here is the QSW2104 2T router and this is the TS464 NAS. Both are available now at Best Buy. Now QNAP's router and NAS are networking tools that are designed for use in a small office or at home. So in this review, I'm going to be talking about their specs, their designs, their features, and of course, to share my final thoughts. Okay, let's start off by talking about the QNAP QSW2104 2T router. Now this router is an impressively fast 10 gigabit router with a total bandwidth of 60 gigabits per second. When it comes to the design and build, the QSW has a minimalist design and a compact body made entirely of aluminum. On the bottom of the QSW, you're going to find two mounting slots that allow users to mount this little router anywhere that they want. Now on the back of the QSW, there are six RJ45 Ethernet ports. Two of these are 10 gigabit speed and the other ones are 2.5 gigabit speed. Like I said earlier, this gives the router a total bandwidth of 60 gigabits per second. The 10 gigabit Ethernet connections can handle speeds up to 1250 megabytes per second. These ports are ideal for connecting your NAS or your primary PC workstation. To fully utilize these 10 gigabit speeds here, you're going to need to use a CAT6A or a CAT7 Ethernet cable. In my testing, I transferred a 15 gigabyte video using the 10 gigabit port here and it took roughly one minute. Now when it comes to the 2.5 gigabit connections, you do have a maximum speed of 312 megabytes per second. These ports are perfect for your office accessories like your printer, your Wi-Fi, or a secondary computer. In my testing, I transferred the same 15 gigabyte file and it took roughly five minutes over these 2.5 gigabit connections. When it comes to power consumption, the QSW is incredibly efficient. While sitting idle, the QSW consumes between 4.4 to 4.6 watts. When it's fully operational and you spin it up, the router consumes roughly 8.5 watts in total. Now, when it comes to features, the QNAP QSW is pretty basic. This is an unmanaged switch, which means that you won't be able to have VLANs control the router remotely or enable and disable individual ports. Overall, the QSW is an excellent router that's easy to set up and use. It's small, fast, and has great power efficiency and is easy to troubleshoot. Okay, let's move on to the QNAP NAS TS464. For those of you who are wondering what a NAS is, it stands for Network Assisted Storage, and this is used to backup and store data. When it comes to the design and build, like the router, the TS464 NAS has a small footprint and can easily fit on your desk. The case of the TS-464 is made of a combination of plastic as well as aluminum. In terms of specs, the unit that I have here is powered by a 2.9 GHz Intel Celeron processor and it comes with 8 GB of RAM. When you remove the cover of the TS-464 here, you're going to immediately notice that this NAS has a 4-bay drive. These slots are compatible with both 3.5 inch SATA hard drives or two and a half inch SATA SSDs. In terms of connectivity, the NAS here offers a fair number of connection points. On the front of the TS-464, you're going to notice one USB-A 3.2 port. On the back of the TS-464 here, you're going to find two USB-A 2.0 ports, one USB-A 3.2, you're going to have two two and a half gigabyte Ethernet ports and one HDMI 2.1 port. Now inside the TS-464, you're going to find additional connectivity ports that can be used for upgrading as well as future-proofing the NAS. On the top on the back here, there is a PCI expansion slot that can be used to upgrade the Ethernet ports to 5 or 10 gigabit Ethernet slots. Located on the bottom of the NAS, there are two M.2 SSD slots that can be used to expand the system memory. Setting up the NAS is relatively simple. Once you've installed a hard drive into the NAS, you're going to be instructed to complete the setup process on your computer using QNAP's QFinder application. Once the NAS has been found, you can immediately start controlling the NAS using your browser and QNAP's QTS operating system. This operating system is incredibly easy to use, and if you're familiar with Windows, then the QTS OS has a similar feel and is easy to pick up. 
Overall, the entire setup process took me about 45 minutes. This included unboxing, installing a hard drive, and setting up the software for the TS-464. My favorite part of the QTS OS is its App Center and the multitude of applications that you can actually install on your NAS. These apps range from backup applications all the way to media streaming. Now speaking of apps, QNAP also provides several mobile applications to perform different functions with your NAS. This includes functions such as managing your account security, syncing data from your NAS to your phone, and vice versa. Overall, the TS-464 is a great storage solution. This was my first time working with one of QNAP's NASs here, and I'm impressed with the easy setup as well as the number of applications that are available for me to customize this NAS to my needs. Now, I use both the QNAP router and NAS as part of my daily routine, and this included backing up files, listening to music, and watching movies. Since I didn't have a 10 gigabyte ethernet card to install onto the NAS, all of my data transfers were done using the 2.5 gigabit ethernet slots. Even at these speeds, I had no issues backing up my data or doing anything else. Streaming music and 4K movies from this NAS was seamless and I didn't notice any hiccups or buffering. One of the most convenient features of this NAS here is the backup button located on the bottom right hand side on the front of the device. All I had to do was plug in one of my external hard drives to the USB port here and press the backup button. The TS-464 would instantly back up any of that data from my external hard drive onto the local drives of the NAS. Alright, time for my final thoughts. QNAP's router and NAS are fantastic pieces of equipment for your home or small office needs. The QNAP router is a welcome network upgrade that allows for faster transferred speeds. When you combine this with the NAS, you have an ideal setup to back up your files as well as quickly share them with other computing or mobile devices on your network. If you're looking to enhance your home or office network, I highly recommend checking out QNAP's router as well as NAS. Again, both of these can be purchased at Best Buy. If you'd like to know more about the QNAP router or their NAS, you can click on the link in the video description. If you'd like to know what else I'm up to, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at PewX31 or on Facebook and here on YouTube at PewX3. Thanks again everyone and I'll see you in the next video.